69. Morning. Morning. Seven, of, seven of us. Okay. How are they doing, peeps? And welcome back to the channel. Uh, the next part of a Zest 7.1 adventure. How do you do? Because all seven of us are actually on a boat trip. Yeah, not an alcohol boat trip, a puffing boat trip. Or oh, in Steve's case, a penguin boat trip. <laughs> so yeah, it will be a bit of a POV vlog with this because we are going to try to get some puffins. How are we, Daniel? We are. Well, look, we'll try, we are. Well, there you go. So, yeah, come join us and let's see who's going to be sick first. That's it. Welcome to Stable Here we are at the front of the boat and we have Captain Pugwash in bright yellow, Seaman Stains on the left hand side, and Master Bates on the right hand side. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Seaman Stain reporting. <laughs> <laughs> you want that place Cheers, thank you. That's a beauty, backlit wings.
Oh hi peeps, I just thought I'd jump in here and let you know what was going on because the memory card got full, didn't realise obviously we were that busy taking the images from all the from the puffins on, on the inner Farne Islands, but what a trip that was. Settings wise, most of the images were at 12 50th of a second, all between f7.1, f8, all on auto ISO but the sunlight was great, getting the backlit wings, have you seen on some of the images? Everyone had an absolute great time on it. Also, cost-wise to get there, it was £30 for the trip. If you're a National Trust member, it's free. If not, it's an £18 landing fee, payable at the National Trust office at the Sea Houses Centre. Um, Daniel played a blinder. Because he wasn't a... He was a National Trust member. He actually signed up for the National Trust there, which was £7 a month, and he only had to pay his first month, so £7. But then, obviously, he's a National Trust member. He got to a car park, and I think they're eight, £8.50 now, £7 a month. That's your National Trust membership paid for, for that month. So as long as you go to these National Trust sites, if you go once a month or once every two months, even to car parks, it pays for itself. So anyway, what I'll do now, and we'll leave you with all the final images, because we did move to the bottom end of the island, because we noticed the puffins were flying towards us, and that was it, we were trying to get the in-flight shots, let's say. But what a trip, I mean, an hour on there, it just wasn't long enough, but it was enough, because obviously the lenses I was using, the 200 or 600 on the Sony, uh, last time I went there, I only had the um, 70 to 200 on. The rest of the guys, I think they were on about 400 mil, something like that. But yeah, when you go there, you can get away with a 70 to 200 lens easily because they come right to your feet and everything. It does get busy, and yeah, as you've seen by the images, <laughs> you can get some stunners. And we're not wildlife photographers by all means. We just like to get out there with a the camera. We thought we'd try something different with this day so like I've just mentioned I'll leave you with all the final images and if you enjoy this just please give us a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because we're only a little channel but we just like to get out and about with the camera as you've seen so yeah enjoy this lot I'll see you on the next one bye for now